Alrighty, hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are actually going to be starting a new build. Well, kind of. We're actually going to be trying to build a boat that will actually be able to service our submarine. Now, I don't know how well that's going to go, uh, and I do want to say sorry about my hair. <laughs> Every time I push it out of the way, it falls back down. There's a problem there. I need a haircut. But anyway, yes, we're going to try and build a boat that can service our submarine. And when I say service, I mean actually be like a little docking boat for our sub. Uh, and also a boat that our sub can actually attach to in order to recharge and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to attempt to build today. Let's just go ahead and start building. Let's just do this. So we'll load up our submarine first. Here it is. Uh, and we'll start building on this. So essentially what I want to do uh, is I need to figure out how long this thing is. So it's actually this long. There you go, which is 46 long. That's actually really wide. All right, really long, I should say. Uh, then it is actually 27 wide. So 46 by 27. Let me uh, write that down. 46 by 27. Okay, excellent. 46 by 27. So, we're going to go ahead and start a new vehicle. There we go. 46 by 27 is what we need. So, we're going to go from here. We're going to go 45. 45. There you go. That's how wide it needs to be. And then we need 27 sideways. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> 27. Do, 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 do. All right, delete all of this. What am I doing? What am I doing? 27. All right, there we go. Is that level? Is that right? I don't know if that's even right. No, it's not. What the? I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I could just do it, but I, I haven't. <laughs> it's 13 each side, but yeah. All right, cool. I think that's about right. Merge it in. There we go. Excellent. We did it, guys. Also, my game seems to have put itself in windowed mode, which is strange. But uh, there you go. So that's how big our submarine is. That's really big, actually. That's actually real big. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to build a ship around this. So we're actually not going to give it any sort of... Oh, no, we will. We will. We'll give it... Hang on. We'll give it an extra little um, barrier bit there. There we go. So that's where the submarine's going to go. And then what the... Oh, no. Have I, have I not quite done... What am I doing? What am I doing? All right. There we go. 13. Uh, da, 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 13. There we go. Right. So we're going to give it an extra one, and then we're actually going to go ahead and build the wall here. There you go. So that's where the submarine's going to go. This is the wall to divide it from the rest of our boat, uh, and that'll be A-OK. -okay. We're then going to send this wall backwards to the back of the ship. There we go. Excellent. And we're going to send this wall forwards, because we should. So that wall's going to go all the way to there. Excellent. Yeah, this should be fine. We then need to build this into some sort of pontoon, and then once we've built it into some sort of pontoon, we need a front bit where the driver can go, and that will be excellent. So, uh, let's just straight away take this sideways, uh, like so. I don't know how much by, but a little bit. There you go, and we'll start building the underside uh, in a little bit. In a little bit! For some reason, my game has gone into windowed mode, so that's not amazing, but uh, there we go. Somewhat like this. That is excellente. It's very good. We're then going to do the top end, so we're going to do this all the way across here. Obviously, it's not super wide at the back, but it doesn't need to be, which is the good thing. We're going to move this backwards to there, and then obviously we need to build the ship on the front. Uh, the ship on the front actually needs uh, some things, though. We need an engine uh, in order to actually push ourselves along. We also need some generators uh, in order to actually um, meet the demand of the submarine, because if we're charging it, we need to meet its demands. So, yeah, we need to do that, but, um, yeah, all right, this should be fine. This should be A-OK, -okay, right? We're going to send this forwards like so. Uh, we're going to seal all this off like that as well. Uh, wait, hang on. Like this. There we go. Excellent. And that's a good start. That is a very good start. Now, unfortunately... Oh, has that done anything to your screen? Yeah, it has. Oh, my. Okay, why does it do this? It goes to windowed mode. Save. There we go. All right, we're back in action, guys. We're back in action. So we need to figure out how we want this to work. I think I want to use these guys. So we're going to go ahead and flip it over and stuff and do that. We're then going to drag this forwards by quite a bit, I want to say. There we go. Should we make it a catamaran? I think we should. I honestly think we should. All right, so now that we've done that, we're going to send this bit forwards uh, to here. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing the other way around. So this is going to go here. It's going to get forced forwards to there. Delete that guy. Delete these guys. 
And obviously we got to fix this in, so we will. So we'll do this and this, and then seal it on the bottom. Yeah. All right, that's excellent. Yeah, guys, it's working. It's working. Woohoo! All right, send that all the way backwards like so, and that will be excellent. We're then going to continue this up. We're just going to do it in like one motion, if that makes sense. So we're just going to keep it going uh, until we are at the top. And there we go. Excellent. Uh, we're going to keep it going. We're going to go even further than this because I feel like we should. So there we go. We're going to do that. And then we're going to seal all this together like so. And like so. Bam. All right. Very good. Yes. All right. That actually looks pretty cool. I didn't want it to be like a substantial ship in terms of like, I didn't want it to be super big. Because that's not what we're going for here. We just need it to get it to places. We need this this boat to get our submarine to places. So that'd be good. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and just do this bit a little bit like that. We're going to delete this bit at the back so that we can attach these two together. And then once we've done that, we should be good to go, to be honest. So we're actually going to go ahead and delete this bit again. All right, we're going to delete this bit again. There we go. And we're going to seal this in, hopefully in the right place, which we are. There we go. Excellent. Turn this around, do it across there. Yeah. All right, very good. We're then going to seal this off like so. And that's pretty special. That's pretty special. All right, good. It works. It totally works. Uh, the other thing is, we're going to delete this piece as well. And we're going to attach this guy on. There we go. And then we're going to delete these guys. Oh, this guy. And we're going to put this piece all right here. There we go. Excellent. So that'll make it a little bit more rounded on the front and should make it look a little bit better, which is always good. Always good. All right, seal all this off. We obviously need the front end to look better, so we'll try and fix this by doing this. All right, there we go. So that's good. Press U. Do that. Do this. Do this. Seal it all off using this guy. And then once it's sealed, we are good to go. There we go. All right, excellent. So realistically, now, this should actually float. It should float. Uh, and the submarine should be able to just dock itself in the back. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and spawn it in. It doesn't float. <laughs> there is a hole somewhere. There is a hole somewhere. Where is the hole? It's not at the back, so it must be at the front. There, there isn't a hole. There isn't. There is no hole. Why did it just sink? There's no holes. Eh? <laughs> what? There are no holes in this thing. I'm so confused. It did just sink, though. Like, straight up, it just sank. Do it again. That's so weird. That is real weird. I don't know why that would happen. All right, delete all of this. There we go. Delete all of that. Maybe it's that that's the problem. Why would that... Why would that have even been an issue? All right, I don't care. Right, save this as a uh, submarine mothership. There we go, submarine mothership. There we go. Uh, we're going to load up the submarine again, and we need to copy the front. So we need to actually grab this bit all the way around to the other side, which I can't quite see, but I think it's there. All the way to the front. All right, and then all the way to this side. There we go. Uh, we need to actually cut this, and then we need to load up our thingamabobby. There we go. We need to bring it into location, which is be. Which is B right here. Excellent. Uh, and we're going to actually build out to that. So three away from here. All right. Okay. 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 So three away from the front. One, two, three. All right. We're going to seal this off fully. But what we're also going to do is delete all of this and have a little bit more of a floaty area. <laughs> I know that seems weird, but that's what we're going to do. So the front of it is definitely flat like this. There we go. Excellent. We're then going to send this bit backwards. Well, actually... Yeah, we'll send this bit backwards quite far. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, we've gone a little bit too much there, so delete these ones. There we go, and... Oh, add this one back. There you go. And then switch it to this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't know how many of these we need, but let's go with that. All right, one more, actually. There we go, very good. And then we need to switch it to this, which obviously is very interesting. And we'll actually do that all the way to the edge. There we go. Very nice. So now it should actually fit in there uh, when it comes to docking. Yes. No, that's excellent. Right. We don't need this piece anymore. We're just going to continue building. So delete these guys as we go. There we go. All the way around the edge. And we're just going to fill that in with this. There we go. 
fill all that in, fill this little bit in, and then we need to do these pieces as well. But they're going to be easy enough because we just need to drop it down, uh, and then we should be good. So we're dropping it by three, uh, which I think is a good amount, uh, and I think that should be fine. Realistically, I don't actually know, but uh, I'm sure it's okay. So there we go. Drop all that down. Very nice. I'm going to drop this down as well, and this. There you go, and this one, and this one. There we go, excellent. So now, uh, we've got all of that in place. I think I'm just gonna seal it all up. So, we grab it from here. We send it backwards to the middle. There we go, and then we grab this piece, and we send it across there. There we go, very nice. So that is where the boat is gonna dock, the submarine. Uh, and I think that'll be good, to be honest. I think that'll be great. So spawn this in, see if it still floats. Indeed it does. Very close to the water, I'm not gonna lie. It's very, very close to the water, but that's okay. Uh, the other thing that I want to do, that I would like to do, uh, is actually send this downwards a little bit more. Because obviously I have the, the ability to do this, right? I have the ability to do that, which means we delete all of this, uh, including that bit, including this bit. Whoa. No, actually not including that bit. But including this bit right here, this bit right here, this bit, this bit, and then the rest of it. Way There we go. So send that all back like that. It then allows us to actually have an angled bit on the side, which is always good. And we can send that all the way backwards to there. We can do the same thing on the other side, all the way forwards to ha. And then we need to do this backwards. Hey, there we go. Yeah, that works. Right, okay. Grab this, put it on there. Excellent. And we want to send it. So grab this here, all the way to the back. There we go. And that should be brilliant. Nice. Okay, excellent. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Because, honestly, I think we've done a good job here. However, we don't have a bridge still. Um, we do need a thingamabobby. Hang on. Uh, winch. We need a winch. A big one. Here we go. And that's going to go right here. Because, you know, it's floaty right here. So that makes sense. Uh, so there we go. Big winch is in. That will be able to attach to our submarine and be able to charge our submarine up. Uh, whether it's on the boat or whether it's actually down diving. Uh, so I think that's actually a pretty good fit. That works. Excellent. Right. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Uh, I don't know what else to do with it, though. So what we will do is let's save this as it currently stands. There we go. Um, we need a way of actually, like, landing our submarine on this, if that makes sense. I don't know how to, how to, I don't know how to explain that, but... We need a way to actually dock our submarine in. And currently, we don't we don't really have that. So I think what we'll do is down this line, we'll delete this. We'll get ourselves a track uh, like this one. There you go. I don't know whether it'll be there or here. And this is where the submarine will dock itself to. I think that will be fine. But again, I'm not actually sure. So save this again. Yep, save it as the mothership. Excellent. We're then going to load up our submarine. We're going to get a gripper. And we're going to put it on the side. Okay, it's literally just going to go right here. Um, actually, it's probably going to go even further out. So it's probably going to go right here. Uh, and it'll send on both sides. There we go. And then we want to grab the entire thing, if we possibly can. Where is it? All right, there we go. Grab the entire thing right here. All the way up. All the way down. And then we want to change it to the other side. Change it to the other side? We want to put it inside our boat. There you go. So we cut this. I think we've grabbed everything except the grippers that we really need. <laughs> I didn't manage to grab the grippers. That's silly. All right, there we go. Send it sideways. Send it sideways. We've got the grippers now. Cut it. Load up our thingy bobby, our boat. All right, excellent. We're going to push it forwards. One too high. Okay, there we go. Lower it down. And then spawn it in. Alright, paste it. Spawn it. Okay, right. Excellent. So, oh no. It slipped off. <laughs> it slipped straight off. No! No! Alright, okay, hang on. Go to the grippers. Alright, go to the grippers. We'll get ourselves a button. We already have one, actually. We already have buttons. We're going to go for break. It's going to go right here. And we're going to go for a break on this side. There you go. Break. And we're going to label this docking break. All right. And it's going to be automatically on. Okay. 
It's not worked. It, 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 it's not worked. At all. It's not worked at all. But is that because this doesn't have any electricity? Probably. There we go. All right, go. Don't think it's moving, but it could be. No, it's not. All right, excellent. So when we dock this thing, we'd obviously get inside. There we go. Very nice. We get outside of here. We'd open and close this. Very good. Uh, then we would release the brake and move it forwards. So release the brake, move it in. Oh, we slipped off forwards. Interesting. All right. So I would actually legitimately need to get out of the water enough to dock onto those. And I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. We might actually have to dock ourselves a lot lower in the water. However, I'm really not sure. So let's do this. All right, well, anyway, you guys get what's going on here, right? So we'll duck ourselves into the back of the boat. The boat will have a bridge, and then it'll also have an engine. It'll also have a generator so we can charge this thing up. It'll also probably have a lot of batteries, uh, which actually, with that being said, we should put some batteries in the back to weigh down the rear because the thing, the submarine itself, actually floats. So it will provide some buoyancy there. So let's go ahead and put this in uh, at the back. We'll actually have two. There we go. Excellent. Well, then... Uh, connect those to each other and to the winch. There you go. And then to each other and the winch. There you go. And then we could even connect the winch to the boat, the submarine. So we need a cable. There we go. And we'll put it right in there. Bam. All right, excellent. So if the cable is... Ooh. If the cable is getting charged via the boat, then that's all good, right? Yeah? I think so. I think so. All right, cool. So rope, attach that to there. Straight up. There we go. Uh, and the other thing was, uh, this needs to be moved backwards because reasons. So it actually is going to go back here like this. However, we need it to be in the right color, which is this. And then we need a gripper again. There we go. We'll put it actually one further forwards like so. And then we'll attach it to the brakes. We'll make sure the brakes work. And then we'll go from there. So is this brake? Uh, nope. This one is though. All right. Excellent. Attach the brakes to the brakes. There you go. Same with this one. Brakes to brakes. Go! Alright, so it's a lot further backwards this time. The rear of the boat is actually underwater now. Okay, interesting. There is water going in my submarine. Excellent. <laughs> this seems fine. Alright, that seems fine. Excellent. Push. And release the brakes. Oh, we still slipped off it, you know? We still legitimately actually slipped off it. So what I'm thinking is, we actually delete this one, we do this, we grab this piece, and we do this, and then it won't be able to slip off at all. All right, that's the idea anyway, let's go. And this time we won't actually let water in. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Right, go forwards, release the brake. All right, excellent. Turn the brake back on, now we've docked. And, yeah, okay, so if we are attached to the actual thing, all it needs is an engine. It doesn't actually need a bridge, because we can actually just push it around using the submarine's jet, uh, the, s ah! <laughs> the submarine's thing. Why is my phone ringing? Stop. All right, yeah, using the submarine's um, motor, which is excellent. So I think we'll actually leave that like that, and that's a pretty good idea. So, yeah. Anyway, I need to answer the phone, so I'm going to end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys think this is a good idea, let me know in the comments down below. If you think it's a bad idea, also let me know in the comments down below and we'll see what we can do. But for now, thanks for watching. Um, my ringtone's bad, I know. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.